Understanding Enter the PIN, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a very common phrase in the English language, enter the PIN. Whether you're using an ATM, unlocking your phone, or making a purchase, this phrase is used frequently in our daily lives. Let's dive into what it means and how you can use it correctly. The term PIN stands for Personal Identification Number. It's a unique code that is usually a combination of numbers. It's used as a security measure to confirm your identity. For example, when you use a debit card at an ATM, you're often asked to enter your PIN to access your account. The phrase, enter the PIN, is commonly used in scenarios where security and identity verification are important. It implies that you should input your personal identification number into a device or system. This could be at an ATM, on a smartphone, or even on certain websites requiring secure access. Let's look at some examples of how this phrase is used in everyday conversation. Could you please enter the PIN for your credit card? I forgot to enter the PIN and the phone locked me out. The machine asks you to enter the PIN before proceeding with the transaction. A common mistake is confusing PIN with other similar acronyms or thinking it's a regular word. Remember, PIN is always an acronym and should be written in capital letters. It's not PIN or PIN. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, enter the PIN and how to use it correctly in different contexts. Remember, it's all about security and confirming your identity. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next English language learning adventure.